This video is part of my 1 to 99 skill guide. If you want to learn the best way of achieving max level, click the first link in the description to go to the main guide. Hello everyone, Kels here and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, Slayer Tasks, Rewards and Points. As you probably already know, a task is something given to you by a Slayer Master to slay a certain number of creatures for experience and Slayer Points. But I will tell you a more efficient way to go about this, as well as giving you all the information you need to make your own judgement when it comes to tasks and unlocks. In this video I will tell you which tasks I would recommend doing for experience, which ones to do for money, which ones to unlock, and finally which ones to extend as well as a quick overview of the tasks table to know which tasks to block and cancel. If you want my honest opinion, this may be different for each player, so I recommend trying every single task available to your Slayer Master, so you can make your own judgement as to which Slayer task you enjoy doing for either money or experience. So, let's get to it. As mentioned in the previous video, I will focus on Neve and Steve, Konar and Duradel. The reason for leaving the other ones out of the analysis is that number one, I never used Crystillia since I don't like the wilderness, and the number two, because the other masters won't be used for long and most of your combat and slayer experience will be spent on the later levels. If using the slayer masters in Draenor Village, Canifis, Edgeville and Sonaris, honestly, do every task they assign since they are generally not that difficult or time consuming. Also, please remember that this is just my personal opinion so you can follow my advice to start off and then feel free to change whatever you want to fit your playstyle. Alright, before we get into each master, I should quickly explain their task table and the weight for each task. Go to the wiki and search for whatever master you want to use and then look at their tasks. Notice the table named weight. This is how often the slayer master will assign a certain task. We don't really need to get into the specifics here, but just know that the higher the weight, the higher the chance of being assigned a task. Look at Konar for example. If you order the table from highest to lowest weight, you will see Drakes, Hydras and Worms at the top, which means these are the most common tasks for her, and the ones at the bottom are Brine Rats and Water Fiends for example. The general rule of thumb is this. Once you tried all the Slayer tasks and know which ones you enjoy the most and which ones you dislike, for the ones you do not enjoy doing, add the ones with a higher weight to the block list and the ones with a lower weight should be cancelled when you get them. As an example, when I was doing Hydra with Konar, I blocked Drakes and Worms since it is common for her to assign them but I did not enjoy killing them. Whenever she assigned monsters such as Water Fiends, Karask or Steel Dragons, I just cancelled the tasks because honestly it's more point efficient to cancel them rather than blocking them since she doesn't assign them too often. Remember to follow this rule for one Slayer Master in which you will focus on since her task table is slightly different. So now that we understand the cancel and block mechanic, let's jump into my suggestion for each Master. First, let's look at Neve and Steve. For both the good experience and the profit, you should slay Necreal, Smoke Devils, Dust Devils and Gargoyles. Purely for good experience you should slay Jad when assigned a Tassar, Abyssal Demons, Blood Belts, Fire Giants, Calphite, Dagonauts, Hellhounds, Greater Demons and Ever Inspectors. Purely for profit you should slay Demonic Gorillas when you are assigned the Black Demons, any profitable boss when assigned the bosses, Cerberus when assigned Hellhounds, Lizardman Shamans, Drakes, Basilisk Knights when assigned the Basilisks, Brutal Black Dragons when assigned the Black Dragons, Cave Krakens, Vorkaths when assigned the Blue Dragons, Kurasks, and finally Adamant and Rune Dragons. You should block things such as Asukas, Worms, Spiritual Creatures, Vampires, Cave Horrors, and Iron Dragons. If you don't like these, you should cancel Fossil Island Wyverns, Red Dragons, Skeletal Wyverns, Steel Dragons, Elves, Scarabs, Brine Rats, Turoths and Mutated Zygomites. Next, let's look at Konar. For both the good experience and profit, you should slay the Alchemical Hydra when assigned Hydras, Necreals, Smoke Devils, Dust Devils and Gargoyles. Purely for good experience, you should slay Abyssal Demons, Blood Vels, Fire Giants, Calphites, Dagonauts, Hellhounds, Greater Demons, Aberrant Spectres, Ankus and Dark Beasts. Purely for profit, you should slay Demonic Gorillas when you are assigned Black Demons, any profitable boss when assigned to bosses, Cerberus when assigned Hellhounds, Lizardman Shamans, Drakes, Basilisk Knights when assigned to Basilisks, Brutal Black Dragons when assigned to Black Dragons, Cave Krakens, Vorkath when assigned to Blue Dragons, Kurasks, and finally Adamant and Rune Dragons. You should block Worms, Trolls, Bronze Dragons, Iron Dragons, Steel Dragons, 
fossil island wyverns and vampires. If you don't like these, you should cancel jellies, mithril dragons, red dragons, skeletal wyverns, turrots, brine rats, mutated zygomites, and water fiends. Finally, let's talk about Duridel. For both a good experience and profit, you should slay necreals, smoke devils, dust devils, and gargoyles. Purely for good experience, you should slay abyssal demons, any profitable boss when assigned bosses, dark beasts, hellhounds, jad when assigned a tassar task, dagonauts, greater demons, calphites, blood velts, ever inspectors, fire giants, trolls in the fremenic isles, and ankus. Purely for profit, you should slay demonic gorillas when you are assigned black demons, any profitable boss when assigned bosses, Cerberus when assigned hellhounds, Lizardman shaman, drakes, basilisk knights when assigned basilisk, brutal black dragons when assigned black dragons, cave krakens, vorkath when assigned blue dragons, kurasks, and finally adamant and rune dragons. You should block mithril dragons, sukas, vampires, worms, skeletal wyverns, spiritual creatures, and or steel dragons. If you don't like these, you should cancel fossil island wyverns, iron dragons, cave horrors, elves, mutated zygomites, and water fiends. Alright, that was kind of a mouthful, but now let's talk about what you should spend and not spend your points on, and in what order. First, looking at the unlocks, then task extensions, and finally, items. First, you should unlock the ability to make the Slayer Helmet, followed by unlocking Bigger and Batter to spawn superior creatures. Next, unlock Hot Stuff to be able to slay Jad on a Slayer task if you already have a Fire Cape. I would then suggest unlock Gargoyle Smasher to automatically kill Gargoyles, Ring Blink to make Slayer Rings, Reptile Got Ripped to unlock Lizardman Shamans, Like a Boss to be assigned bosses, and finally Bassy Locked to be assigned Basilisks. The rest of the tasks should be unlocked under your own criticism depending on what monsters you like to kill, such as Red Dragons, Mithril Dragons, Avian Seas, and Vampires to kill Vira Watch Sentinels. And as a final note, any extra points should be used to unlock Slayer Helmet Recolors. Now, when it comes to extensions, this again depends on which monster you enjoy slaying for profit, for experience, or for both. But if you want a personal suggestion, and in no particular order, I would extend Black, Adamant, Rune Dragons, Greater, and Black Demons, Blood Velts, Aber Inspectors, Dust Devils, Gargoyles, Necreals, Abyssal Demons, and Krakens. I would also suggest longer Basilisk and Bire Watch tasks for the chance at great drops, but this is up to you. And finally, with Slayer Points, you can buy the Herb Sack and the Rune Pouch, which are excellent items to help you on your journey. And that's pretty much it. All the information you need to know to make your Slayer grind much faster, much more profitable, or maybe even both. I will see you in another video if you decide to keep watching. Best of luck, and have a great day.